In my civilian employment, I work for Zodia Markets, which is a cryptocurrency digital asset trading company. I'm the head of onboarding, uh, and that means that I um, evaluate our clients to make sure they meet, uh, meet requirements. I look at custodians, so those are the, the businesses that safeguard the digital assets, and I also evaluate the assets to decide which ones we will make available for our customers to trade. Zodia Markets, as a small business, um, looks for diversity in its employees. Um, as many businesses have now found, you know, diversity is really important, and, and actually, um, for the, the kind of people that look to you know, not only run a career, but also a volunteer and do additional work outside, we find that the kind of mentality, the approach um, is, is really valuable. I've been in the RAF reserves for six years. I'm an officer on uh, an RAF air movement squadron, and what air movements means is we work with uh, unloading and loading cargo aircraft, working with passengers um, and preparing cargoes as well. So my squadron worked on the um, hurricane relief effort a few years back, or supporting uh, more general duties closer to home, like the response to COVID. For us as a small business, we have to be quite cautious around you know, number, you know, number of employees, our, our cost, our burn rate, etc. Um, do I think there's any downside in, in having someone that's you know, got essentially a, a, almost a secondary career in, in some respects? None whatsoever. For me, the value we get from someone who's with the RAF, you know, the, the, the pressures that they're under there relative to the pressures that we put them under, I think is relatively minor. Uh, and so what they're able to do is really bring a lot of, you know, a lot of experience and a lot of capability um, and bring that to bear in the everyday work environment. Balancing uh, reserve and, and civilian life and as well as personal commitments definitely requires uh, organisation um, and some negotiation as well. Employers increasingly recognise that their staff have an identity outside work. Maybe that's family, maybe that's a community organisation that they're part of, or maybe it's a second career path that they have. So the employer gets the benefit of the skills and experience that that person develops and the different perspectives and, and diversity of perspectives from that uh, second part of their life. Uh, it's also good for them from a retention perspective if they are able to support that person's full identity.